Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to show you how you can use Figma variables to create responsive typography. Let's go. Here I have a very basic uh, demo layout that has uh, several text elements. And for those elements, I am using some variables to keep the font sizes. For instance, heading one is 64 pixels in size, heading two is 24. Uh, I also have uh, variables for text large, text base, text small. And I'm actually applying those variables to the different elements. So for this heading one, I am applying the um, heading one variable. Now, I also have two other versions of this layout, one for tablet and one for a smartphone. The problem is, as I go down in screen size, the typography should get uh, smaller and smaller. It needs to be responsive, basically. It needs to adapt to the device we're seeing. And one thing we can do is change it by hand on these smaller layouts. But I also want to keep using variables because they make my life easier and maybe I'm trying to develop uh, some kind of design system. So in this case, I would need to go back to my local variables and create versions for each of these for the individual layouts. So for instance, I would need to create heading one dash large or heading one dash small uh, for the various screen sizes. But there is actually a faster way and that's by using variable modes. So uh, in Figma, you can click this plus icon here that says new variable mode. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it mobile. And I'm going to double click on mode one and I just call it desktop. And then I can set different values for this variable in this new mobile mode that I created. So maybe I want this to be 48. Maybe this is going to be 20. Uh, this uh, 18. This I'm going to leave at 16 and maybe make the text small 13 pixels. So now that I have a new mode created, a new variable mode, I can easily apply it to an individual frame. So I'm going to select this iPhone 16 Pro frame and I will go right here in the inspector under appearance and click apply variable mode. So I'm going to select mobile and just like that, Figma now uses the other values for these variables. So it's the same element, it's the same variable applied to it, heading dash one. However, in this iPhone 16 Pro layout, it is using the values from the mobile variable mode. How cool is that? And at any time I can change these to whatever I want. Maybe I want this heading two text to be even smaller than it is. So I can do it right there. And you can apply this logic to a lot of different things. Maybe you're setting up the margins and paddings or the gaps between elements if you're using auto layout uh, to some variables, in, in which case you can easily create new variable modes for those variables and uh, have them automatically adapt to whatever layout you want. And uh, if you want to create another variable mode, for instance, uh, for this uh, tablet, well, it's just as simple. You go back to your local variables, you create on new variable mode, you can call this tablet, and you can uh, set the sizes you want. And then you would select the frame, apply the variable mode from here, select tablet, and then you have three different text sizes for the same variables by using uh, the variable modes. And if you want to learn more about Figma variables, then I have a free uh, full tutorial on the topic right here on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can find the link down in the description. Uh, with that said, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm Adi and I'll see you next time.